everyone, welcome back. I just got a nice new toy. It is a jump starter. And what we have here is the Nextbow Jump Starter Power Bank, the G18A model. And I got this because I was so surprised at the price. Typically these things, for this much amperage, you have to pay over $100. And this is on sale for $46, so I was very impressed. I'm pretty sure this doesn't come with a case as most of them usually do. What it is, is a very big power pack and power bank that you can use to start your car or in my case, is to start my lawnmower, which has an old lead acid battery that has irrevocably died. I've tried recharging it, I've tried everything, and it just will not start. And this comes from Walmart. Packaged nicely. Let's turn it on. 71%. We have an output, USB, USB, emergency light. The input is a USB-C port, and then you have a, a DC out. Let's take this out and see what else we have underneath. Yeah, as I thought, it did not come with a carrying case. I mean, for this price level, I'm happy to get an instruction manual. This is the jump starter cable. And the nice thing about this is you can see it's cut so that the red and the black at no point in time, you're just like holding it connected and dangling. They're not able to touch each other. Burn out your jump starter. We do have a USB cable. So this is just a USB-A to USB-C. And this is your uh, basically your charging cable. This is the jump start port. LED status. You can see the light. Model 18A. Capacity, 88 watt hours, 12 volt. Starting current, 1500 amps. Peak current, 3000 amps. And you can see that two USB. So the first goes from five volt, three amps to 12 volt, 1.5 amps. And USB two, which is number five, which is this second one, is your typical USB A out. This is your charging port right here. So this is a, a DC out output only. You cannot use that to recharge, but you can recharge this with a USB-C either in your house or, or in the car. Without it being connected, you have right now 72% and it says out. So out is the electricity is ready to be distributed out from the power bank. Once you connect the charging cable, you give it a few seconds and it will switch to in and continue the charging process. I give it a full charge before I do an experimentation. This is my riding lawnmower. I'm going to start it now. The battery shows almost zero charge. I've tried charging it up, but it doesn't matter. Look at this, completely dead. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't even, there, you can hear a little bit. It's trying to turn over. Let's give this a try and see if it starts. So this is the old battery. It's a Everstar Type 83. Cold cranking amp is 230. So here's my battery bank. And I recharged it. It took about three hours. It's hard to see in the sunlight, but it's up to like 99%. And I decided to stop the charging at that point. We open up this uh, engine start port. And you fit this this way. There's one round plug, one um, slightly rectangular plug. And just fit it in this way. That screen right there. Okay, so I'll just place this here. Next step is to connect the red to the positive terminal and the black to the negative terminal. And it's now the green is now stable. All right, we're gonna give it a try, and we have. 30 seconds to remove it afterwards. Still at 99. The cutting grass is done. 
I was able to use this twice. The one that I started initially and then once again after I ran out of gas and had to uh, restart. Starting from 99%, two more jump starts and it's at 97%. To demonstrate the light, hold down the button, two seconds, you get a light. Press it again, you get a strobe. Press it again, faster strobe. Press again, light. Hold down, turn off. Yeah, very highly recommended.